Oh, good morning. At least it's morning here. It is uh, 5.30 a.m. and today's date it is December 3rd of 2016. I'm not sure if you've, how closely you've been following in the last couple days what's been going on. You know, my Panasonic FZ300 that I've been talking so much about and that I used for um, I used it for the first 4k video which was blue because I didn't have the uh, had a blue cast to it because I didn't have the uh, white balance set correct set correctly and anyway oh then I made a video uh, was I using it uh, I was waiting, my intention was to be making all of my videos instead of using the Logitech camera, I was going to use my Panasonic camera. And I ordered in this lavalier microphone, only $20 to use to make the audio really good. And I got it, I think the day before yesterday. And I used it to make a recording. I don't think I had the audio settings quite wrecked, but I, quite wrecked, or maybe so. Don't think I had them quite correct. But I mentioned in the video that I made that I was going to be working on that on the next video that I made with the Panasonic bridge camera. Yeah, you know, the next time I turned the Panasonic uh, FZ300 on, which I loved, and, and I'm using the past tense, I loved that camera. I got error messages. First I was, first I was getting turn camera on and off. You know, I would turn it on and start to make an adjustment or start to line the camera up and it would say, turn camera on and off and I would do that I'd go back turn camera on and off did that a few times and then I got a new message I forget uh, what did that say I can't remember exactly what that error message was but so anyway I looked up on the internet um, and found my camera listed and with these errors and the people in the discussion groups were saying, you know, they had had that happen, and that it uh, that was really uh, the permanent blue screen, or that was you had to send your camera in for repair. Your camera was screwed. So I had had the camera twenty nine days. I purchased it from Amazon. Love doing business with Amazon. I went online, contacted, filled out the form that I was going to return the camera because it was broken and I filled in the uh, problems, the error messages that I was getting. And then it pops up, um, okay, do you want a replacement or do you want a refund? And I thought, oh no. And I thought, I'm going to take the refund. Uh, I'm the kind of person, I have this Panasonic camera, by the way, the LX7. It's a great camera. No articulating back and no optical viewfinder, but I can buy one for $150. Great camera. Also no audio input, but uh, a great camera, but... I, I think the FZ300 was, that's the best camera I ever had. It had so many controls, so many, well, anyway, that's, as we say, water under the bridge. So I said for them to send me a refund. And uh, because, oh, that's what I was going to say, the way I am, I would ever, every time I would turn that 
if I got a replacement camera, every time I turned it on, I'd be waiting for the error message and I'd be thinking, oh, every time, you know, all the time, for the rest of my life using that camera. And I intended for that, I'm 75 years old. I thought, kind of thought that camera was the camera I was going to have until I would be in the uh, nursing home be my last camera or something. I'd be taking pictures or coming in ready, getting ready to put me in the body bag and tie a tag on my toe. Uh, so I'm getting a refund and Amazon is great. You know, they I had to fill out the thing but they had UPS come out with a label put it on the box and as soon as I sent it, uh, I got in, um, I don't think they've even received it yet. Maybe they have, but I sent it yesterday. But I got an email from them saying that my money was had been deposited in my bank and would take, or my, you know, they don't know whether it's bank, but, you know, had been deposited and uh, would take three to five days to show up. Um... So, like I said, I love doing business with Amazon. I don't know if you've ever, uh, nah, I'm not gonna bash a, a retailer. I, I would love to do business with retail stores, but there's, uh, you know who I mean. Uh, but I have, have to do business with, with uh, with Amazon. So, I don't think this had anything to do with it, but it, you know, it's kind of suspicious. I always worry about uh, cameras or cell phones or anything that you have to plug something into the jack, especially the audio, you know, the 3.5 audio jacks or whatever. You're just waiting for, I think, something to happen. So, here we are making this video now. I think you're probably finding the audio really good, right? The last one I made here, I was using the headphones. And you mentioned that the audio was too low. I went in, I really didn't see, I, I didn't see how I could really crank it up. Ah, oh, man. Computers should be computers. You should... And maybe that's sort of the way I've never owned an Apple. I've never even used an Apple except when the very first Apples came out. And I forget which one that was. That was a, the crazy looking one with the keys with the squiggly lines on it. That was in a library and I actually typed the key. That's, I don't know. But I, I think that uh, Apple computers, you just sort of use them. With Windows, I'm using Windows 10. You have to become, you have to become an expert, and then you, you learn so much and whatever. And with, with Windows 10, it's it's nice software, but it's accessing the hard drive all the time. Uh, it's, and I I had a, well, with Windows programs, you just have to figure, you know, you get your computer all set up, everything installed, now you just have to, you have to format every, you might, might as well figure every six months that you're going to, maybe more often, depending on what you do, that you have to format. Now, I had a friend that we, that was into computers, and uh, we'd get together about every two weeks, and order pizza in, and just discuss computers, and Linux, and politics he's no longer a friend <laughs> uh, was for years but and this is before Trump was this is years ago it just it was me a left-wing communist and him a right-wing fascist I guess and we just couldn't got where we you know I I think we still still were friends but we just couldn't talk to each other or see each other so, 
how did I get on that subject? Anyway, this, uh, I hooked up this back, I hooked this back up again. That's what I'm using. I only have one microphone plugged into it. Oh, that's something I need to check on because when I hooked this up before, uh, I didn't test this that, on this hookup. In the past, I've had uh, the audio only going to one microphone. Or well, there's only one microphone hooked up. I mean, only one side. So if you're listening, uh, I hope you're hearing the audio coming out of both sides, right and left. I'll have to check that. So uh, I hooked this up. Pretty neat, pretty neat device. And this is the microphone. It's supposed to be a really neat uh, microphone, and but I've got a couple of those cheap, cheap ones sell for about $20 a piece and uh, some of you have liked the audio from it from those microphones better than this more expensive one so so I've got a refund coming and I've been thinking about getting, and I've mentioned this before, you've heard me talk about this before. Uh, I had a Chromebook, you saw me, when I was in Washington, D.C., that's that's what I was using for the two weeks that I was there. I used it. Chromebooks are supposed to really get rave reviews from people, but I got it and I just didn't like the keyboard. I didn't like the trackpad because my hand, which is this problem with any, you know, for me and for a lot of people. Of course, I think you can turn the trackpad off, but my hand dragging on it. And so anyway, the Chromebook, I, uh, my ex-wife used it when she's handicapped in a wheelchair and sometimes bed fast for, you know, I mean, not all day, but she... So she used it. She used it. Well, my my uh, Darlene tried it and she didn't like it at all. She hates. She hated it. I actually I hated it too, really, except for the fact that it turned on so fast and, and other things. Uh, my son, grown son, he didn't like it. I ended up giving it to Hillary. She has it and she uses it, but she doesn't really like it. But I've been wanting to get this new one, which is probably a mistake, because I had a Chrome, but but this one, it folds like a ta up like a tablet, and the screen is touch screen, and now, uh, let's see, I forgot, is it? It's the Android, yeah. Now the Android apps work on it. Man, I, I mean, the Android apps that are available. There's thousands of them, I think, and you can do, just do everything, so. I don't know if I should spend some of that, my refund for, the, for that camera that I returned is gonna be $600. So, I don't know whether I should, I'm, I wanna try it. Wish I had a neighbor, that somebody that would lend this to me. Uh, let me one I could find out. Oh, Best Buy is the retailer. <laughs> I guess I could go up to uh, Best Buy and go in and uh, try it. I think maybe just a few minutes of touching it or, you know, maybe looking at it. Probably I should do that. Poor Best Buy. They are terrible people to do business with. 
I mean, terrible. And that's been for years. When I was in uh, Missouri, here in Texas, I think maybe in, uh, not sure, but they just, they're terrible people to do business with. They should, they should go out of business. And I think they are, are probably will eventually go out of business because I think all people do is, I mean, well, not all people, but I think people go, well, some people want something like right now. With Amazon, you can get same day delivery on a lot of this, or it depends on where you live. I can get same day delivery. I can order something in the morning and be delivered in the afternoon. Uh, so, uh, the thing with this is, I don't have a laptop. My laptop years ago broke. I do not have a laptop. And it would be nice to, you know, be doing something and walk in the other room. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.45 a.m. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 49 degrees with showers. Today's forecast has rainy weather, with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Ah, <sighs> so, what do you think I should do about this Chromebook? Because now I do make these videos. I've been making them since 2005. I was making videos before YouTube existed before before anybody all before anybody existed except for I think what was it America Online and uh, the other one CompuServe. Uh, then of course what I always do is I'm thinking I always think of an inexpensive. I wish I had the money once, I wish I had, well not one time, but I wish I had the money to just get the best, you know, the top of the line, get product every time and not have to go with the least expensive. So I really don't like laptops. But here again you have the touch screen and you have, win this is window, you know, windows and I haven't even looked this up. I haven't even looked at the reviews on this. Uh, So I don't know, but it looks it looks like it would be nice, but I don't know. That's four hundred four hundred forty dollars. I don't think so. I am going to order this, and I actually ordered one of these uh, monitors. Uh, well, there. Let's see, August twenty fourth of 2016 and this is uh, December 3rd. I got it in, hooked it up, and loved it. My grandson got home from work, uh, my grown grandson, uh, 26 or 27 years of age. He got home from work and I showed it to him and he liked it. And I said, you, you can have it. Now, I wanna, I'm, now I'm gonna order another one for sure. That'd be the first thing. As soon as, I, as, soon as my refund money goes in the bank, that's, going, that's the first thing I'm going to order. That's the first monitor. Uh, hooked it up to my computer and it has excellent speakers. I know that that's not supposed to be a thing that exists. Excellent speakers built into the monitor. For my, I have hearing problem both ears and I don't need fancy speakers. It doesn't do any good. Um, but I hooked it up and then I was gonna run the audio cable over 
you know, hooked up the HDMI and bang, great sound came out through, you know, HDMI. And uh, so I'm going to wear that for sure. Oh, I'm thinking about this. I could use this camera to do, you know, some of these videos and things. Of course, I would not have the viewfinder. I wouldn't be, I'd have to, that's the problem. No viewfinder that pops up. And no wife, no uh, connection to a tablet or a, uh, That's another thing with uh, a, a Echo, Amazon Echo Dot that I have, that you heard. Uh, it connects to my, which I never use, but it's in my any other room, turned <coughs> off, but it comes to life whenever I access and keeps a record, of course, of uh, everything with Alexa. Now this I could, it's, it's, the price doesn't bother. I think I mentioned, I have to be careful. She's listening. Uh, I could use this digital recorder record audio and then I would have to synchronize it and you know add it to the audio track of the video that I make and as you, as you probably know I'm kind of I'm, I'm lazy when it comes to I want to shoot the video but I don't have any notes uh, I don't want to go in and edit it. I don't want to add stuff. I don't want to put captions down here. I should do all those things. But I don't want to. I want to do it easy. So that would be, but that would give me, that should give me excellent audio. And I would have some excellent video, hopefully, and put them together. So I don't know. What do you all think? Uh... Here's my wish list at Amazon. Uh, I put things, not everything on here do I, you know, do I want to buy or am I planning to buy. Some of the things I put on there so I can remember. Now this is $160, but that, remember the, if you were watching the, I think I mentioned it, the uh, camera that broke on me. It had a fantastic optical viewfinder. And this is the same one. And you can, I can slide it in there. It's an extra. So, I put things on here to remember. I have two, well, one was my, because my grandson moved out. I got his old office chair. I'm going to need a new office chair. The one in there that both of them are. And that's because I've, and you've mentioned that, that I always buy the least expensive one. I don't really need a powerful computer, but I would like to have one. I've there again. I've I get the, about the least expensive. I'd like to go, and these aren't even. I don't think you'd say first class. Maybe they're second class, but I'm always using like third class or fourth class. I would once like to. Of course, I had computers when other people didn't have computers, so I started, you know. I had my first computer in 1978. I already 
this razor was given to me by my daughter and son-in-law one Christmas or birthday or something, a shaver. But I have it on here so I remember the blades to order and the uh, cleaning fluid or whatever. I actually own two of these security keys, which I'm not using. I'm not sure if this exact one or not, but uh, I have that on there for some reason. Either it's one that I own that I haven't used yet. I love this idea, the tiny little box, you know, computer, and I wonder, that's only $190 it would take up almost no room. And I kind of wonder if it wouldn't be better than, you know, than the desktop that I have now. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, ham radio. I can't afford... I can't afford more than one hobby or interest. I'm interested in computers. I'm interested in, always have been, photography. Since I was a, a little kid in you know, grade school or whatever, I, uh, my father had bought a used, because he heard of it, Leica. I think it was a Leica camera. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't as, he bought it used and uh, was going to give it to me at some point. And there was, back when I think we had one TV channel, maybe we had three, I think we had one TV channel. And I forget the show, there was some show on, and aliens or whatever, they, they had a third eye here, and that's the only way you could tell that they were aliens, and you couldn't see it. But if you took a picture of them, then you would see their third eye and you would know they were an alien. And uh, so my dad, he was going to give it to me later or something. He went and gave me, you know, gave me that. So that was the start of my taking pictures. I loved my twin lens reflex camera. Oh my God. And that was sort of, uh, that's the sort of thing with the with the articulating lens. I never really got into it. But you can, you know, flip it up like this and be looking and you get sort of the same. And I love that uh, the twin lens where they had the two lenses and you look down in the square format, and which you can do by settings on these cameras, of course. I always keep it on, what, 16.9 or whatever format, which I don't know why I do that, but I do. But I'd sure like to have a new, I have three ham radios, handy talkies, but they're the least expensive kind. I'm talking $100 each. Really good radios, but I, uh, I really, the, the ones that these others have, the functions, the abilities, the uh, things they will do, now I have had expensive four and five hundred dollar ham radios, which I had a while and then I sold. But these new ones, I would like to. I'd like to get one, and it's free same day service. Oh, no, don't do it, Jim. Don't do it. Guess that's it. See what else? Uh, I'm still working on the uh, place. Uh, haven't seen Hillary and Russell since they moved. Hillary says she's going to come over one of these days and uh, help me straighten the place up a little bit. I've done really good with these two rooms, but uh, the living room now and the dining room and kitchen I've started. Kitchen I've almost got uh, straightened up. I'll show that to you sometimes. Um, What else? Oh, uh, they are set. They do say that they are going to come Christmas Eve, and uh, maybe stay over 
for the night. I kind of doubt it. Russell's going to want to get back to his computer. Um, what else is going on? I think that's it. I thank you for watching. I got a feeling that the that you're really going to like the audio. I got to check and I hope oh, I, it, I can find the setting again. I hope we're getting audio from right and left side. But if not, I'll find out here in a few minutes because I'm going to stop now, check the uh, first couple of minutes of this video and upload it. Even if it's just audio on one channel, right channel, I'll still upload it and then fix it for the, hopefully for the video to follow. Thank you very much. Um, if you're not subscribed, I started with one of the first people. YouTube started in 2005. I am, I have not reached 2,000 subscribers yet. I'm about 40 away. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be nice to hit 2,000. Just think, 2005 to 2016, and I have not hit 2,000 subscribers yet. So, if you haven't subscribed, please go and do that right now. Thank you very much. There we are. I found you. 31 minutes and the file size is 3.2 gigabytes. 